Hello YouTube, Tai Chi Twins here, Joshua Wardy, Jeremy Wardy with Rising Phoenix Martial Arts. Welcome to another exciting episode of Dojo Games, and today we're talking about our throwing games. These games are really good for helping you build accuracy, as well as controlling your power over different distances. Also, like most of our games, at the end it really involves some good teamwork skills. So this is our last episode of our Dojo Game series. Uh, we might add some more later on down the road. We're pretty creative and come up with new games all the time. But for now, I want you to think back on all the other episodes you've watched. Which one is your favorite dojo game? Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Our first game is a common picnic game, the egg toss. To make it less messy, though, we replace the egg with a ball. Start the game with the partners a couple of paces apart. One player tosses the ball to their partner, they catch it, and then toss it back. They each take one step back and do it again. To make it more physically challenging, you could give out push-ups for missing the ball. For added fun on a hot day, you could switch the balls for a water balloon. A common carnival game is the bottle toss. Only we replace the bottles with cones or domes. The player stands on or behind the throwing mark and throws the ball to knock the target over. When they knock it over, they reset the target and get a point. Multiple targets can be knocked over at once, resulting in multiple points. To help keep track of their points, they take a cone off the stack for each color they knocked over. We will also assign different points to each color. One point for the closer cones, two points for the further away cones. You can only score once off of each stack. Zack knocked over two blue cones, but only gets the score for one. You can also split the group into teams. The player throws the ball to knock over a target. Then they have to get the ball back to their team so the next player can throw the ball. The team that knocks over all their targets first wins. In this game, we make them knock over the close cones before they can go for the blue target. The first team that knocks over the blue target wins. Shuriken Bachi is a combination of horseshoes and bocce ball. Set out a target dome, or optionally you can have the first player throw the target dome out. Each player then takes turns throwing their shuriken to get as close to the target as possible. Once each player has taken their turn, the shuriken closest to the target gets a point. Award two points for each shuriken leaning against the target. Award three points for each shuriken on top of the target. Our next game, Hoops, we break down into three games. The first focuses on making the ball through the hoop. The players line up behind the throwing target and try to throw the ball through the hoop. They then retrieve the ball and get it back to the next person in line. Make sure to change what level and what side you hold the hoop on. To make it more challenging, the hoop holder can move the hoop. Try to figure out fun patterns. The next game adds the idea of blocking the hoop. Make two teams. A throwing line divides the teams. Players can't cross that line. A few paces back from the throwing line is the goalie box. Only the hoop holder is allowed in the box. The defense team stands between the goalie box and the throwing line. They try to block the ball from going through the hoop. The offensive team gets a ball and picks a player to hold the hoop in the goalie box. One player tries to get the ball past the other team and through the hoop. The hoop holder can move the hoop any way they want to catch the ball, but they can't leave the goalie box. After three throws, the team switch sides. Every time you switch, the teams will pick a new hoop holder. Also, to be fair, make sure that everyone gets a turn with the ball. The first team to reach 9 points wins. Remember that this is a team game, and you can be tricky by using teamwork and passing the ball. I'm gonna disappear over here, pass it off to Bait and go. Oh, I totally had him fooled, did you see that? Check this out, I'm gonna pass it to you. I'm gonna pretend like I'm throwing. Now that was a little yeah. slow, but did you guys get the idea? 
for the final evolution of the game, go full court by adding a second goalie box and hoop. Each team picks a hoop holder, who stands in the goalie box on the opposite side. The ref starts with the ball at the center line and throws the ball straight up. The team that gets the ball tries to throw it through their hoop. When a point is scored, reset, and each team picks a new hoop holder. You can play the best two out of three, or the first team to hit nine points. This is a few of the throwing games that we've collected over time. If you can think of other games, please leave a comment down below. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button and share it with a friend. Also, make sure you're subscribed so that you can catch our next video.